Hello, this is my IFR flight practice with an Android app. As we know, we have uh, three entry types of a uh, holding pattern. Most times, we use direct entry. And if you come from the opposite direction of the inbound leg, you should consider the parallel and uh, the teardrop entry. Now let's take a look at the mission. Here I draw the red line to make it work like a teardrop entry. Cross the holding fix. Heading 069, after a minute, turn left heading 219 onto the course of the inbound leg. And now the mission shall begin. Here we can see this aircraft is overall controlled by the autopilot, especially both the airspeed and the altitude. And the only thing we need to consider is the heading bug. Actually, this is the only thing we need to control to complete the required holding pattern. Now let's take a look at the HSI and pay extra attention on the green and the blue needle. With corresponding knowledge base, we can easily find out that the green one is the VOR and the blue one is the ADF. Now we are flying right to the holding fix but not on the inbound course. So the heading bug is exactly where the ADF needle is pointing to. Right now, we don't need to intercept the inbound course, which is 219 from here. But when we fly over the holding fix, we will find out the ADF needle will move quickly and turn against the heading bug. And after that, the VOR needle, I mean the green one, will right will immediately center and move away at once and now it's uh, the good time to enable the stopwatch and start to count for 60 seconds and here i slightly change the, the heading back to the 069 which is extra 30 degrees added based on the outbound heading 039 so it's time to have a little sip of your tea and uh, keep watching the number of the stopwatch and uh, the, uh, the, the distance between your current position and the holding fix, which now is uh, 2.3 nautical miles. For the new learner like me, it's good to make a regular check of the map. Uh, the map looks good. It seems we are on the right way to build this beautiful teardrop. And uh, what we need is a little bit more patience to await the stopwatch reach the number 60. And this is right on the way. And bingo, uh, this is a good timing to uh, uh, yeah, stop the stopwatch and start to make the left turn to intercept the inbound course. So uh, it looks the autopilot will not make a, a steep turn and uh, uh, the bank angle is just, uh, let me see, about 15 degrees. So if this is not a steep turn, uh, we might need to turn the heading back a little bit more to the left of the inbound course, uh, which to need to prepare if we getting out of the pattern circle. Uh, now let's check the map. Okay, we are still uh, in. And the turning, turning. Uh, I, I need to check if we will finally end up just right intercept the course or a little bit more mm, and no looks we gonna get a little bit overshoot so we do need to, to turn a bit a little bit more to the left and uh, get the uh, finally get the needle back to the center perfectly right so a little bit more to the left and wait patiently and uh, good good this is well centered and uh, let's heading right on the course to the holding fix and nice so we just officially start the inbound leg
on right on the course uh, towards the holding fix. Now we can pay a little bit of attention on the DME, I mean the 2.0 nautical miles away from the holding fix. We are right towards it. Feel free to check the map at any time uh, in case you need uh, a little bit more uh, confidence, right? Another important fact here uh, you need to pay attention is the wind, which is the yellow little number on the upper left corner of, uh, of the HSI, which we talk later. Right now, we pay attention on the DME distance because we are crossing the VOR station and uh, yeah, the holding fix. Uh, it's getting away and bingo, we just crossed the holding fix. Now we better quickly move heading back to the 039 heading and uh, start the outbound leg. And I think it makes pretty much sense that the, the turn here is not a steep turn but a standard rate turn. Just because the guys in the holding pattern, no matter the pilot or the passengers, are in the anxiety to get onto the ground. If they keep making uh, the steep turn and then God knows what they're going to think about during the holding pattern, right? So when the turn ends and uh, we are on the right heading, uh, since this is the outbound leg, we don't have much too much information to watch out. So the only thing we need to consider is uh, when we finish the turn and uh, the aircraft start to level off, we need to uh, enable the stopwatch and start counting for 60 seconds. Uh, obviously, I start a little bit too late uh, here, I mean the stopwatch, but uh, anyway, uh, practice makes perfect, right? So let's uh, just uh, start it. Now we have, uh, we finally, ah, okay, the map. Uh, this is going well. So uh, let's talk about the wind. Here in this case, the wind is calm. Uh, you know, it's just a three knots. Uh, we can probably just uh, ignore it. But when the wind turns to be strong, you should always consider how to get the plane crabbing uh, to make the plane stay in the course, I mean, especially the inbound course. If you don't know what the crabbing is, it uh, actually means that during strong wind, you need to head towards the wind a little bit, I mean the nose of the plane, to make sure that you stay on the course that you want to be. So that uh, means there will be a, a, a small angle between the nose heading and the the real flight track you left behind. So this is the basics of the word crabbing during you operate your your aircraft in strong wind. If you do need more uh, information about how to do it and uh, what kind of uh, instructions you're gonna follow uh, to make the crabbing, you should uh, probably read uh, a little bit more uh, related materials. Okay, so back to the traffic pattern. Seems that uh, we just uh, finished the six, 60 seconds uh, for the outbound leg and now we are turning to the inbound leg. So you know when the wind is calm, we should, uh, you know, during the turn to the inbound leg, when we set up the right heading as we see in this case, we should just write on the course during the, the, the finish of the turn. And there should not be too much uh, intervention needed. So it's right there and uh, the inbound course will be pretty good. Okay, let's get back to the wind stuff. If you need to crab your plane during the, the strong wind and to complete this traffic pattern, you should uh, just follow professional instructions of the materials I just mentioned. 
in case you don't have a, a good choice, uh, I would recommend uh, the instructions written by Road Machado. The, the best and the most uh, humorous flight instructor on this planet. Uh, believe me, he really knows how to turn those professional techniques and uh, the boring numbers into those funny stories and uh, those interesting cases. And he also really knows what mistake you're gonna make and how to uh, correct them. Uh, I do really love him. Uh, he, he is the best. So let's get back to our uh, holding pattern. So the second time is coming, we are crossing the holding fix again. Uh, just wait and see right here. So yes, we just uh, crossing the, the holding fix again. So it's time to get to the next uh, outbound leg. And from here, I guess you already know that uh, what to do in the traffic pattern and how we do it generally. So I hope you like this video and uh, leave me the comment uh, at any time and uh, I'm gonna try, try, try my best to, to get back to you. Thank you and I appreciate your time for watching this. Okay, the map.